Hello, I'm Warren Grover. And I'm Tom Howie. We are co-leaders of the Treasure Valley chapter of Act for America. We want to explain why we need American laws for American courts, ALAC, or what we will come to call Idaho laws for Idaho courts, passed by this session of the Idaho legislature. As we have shared with many Idaho legislators over the last seven years, there are forces within America that are slowly but surely pressuring courts and lawmakers to accept Sharia law in their decisions and legislation. In fact, there are well over 100 cases in which judges at state levels have already ruled in favor of Sharia as opposed to the American civil system, only to be overruled by appellate courts. As of this time, we have no record of such a case in Idaho's system being decided based on Sharia. However, if you review the case from Twin Falls regarding the assault of a young girl by three young Muslim boys, you must ask yourself why decisions were made as they were. Remember, Sharia is only part of an ideological system known as Islam, which is a political, legal, social, and cultural system designed to control all aspects of a person's life, not just the legal. As we have more and more adherents of this Islamic ideology being settled in Idaho, we can rest assured that attempts will be made to impose more aspects of this ideology, including Sharia, on our Idaho legal system, as well as on all aspects of our life in our state. This does not mean that our organization is against, is against individual Muslims. However, we do stand against an ideology that is designed such that is diametrically opposed to our state and federal constitution and our Bill of Rights. We are not attempting to make this an anti-Muslim issue. We just want to acknowledge and have our legislature acknowledge that it is as simple as this. If you are in the United States, use American laws in American courts. In fact, if you review the cases across the country in which Sharia was used, you will see that it was Muslims, mostly women and children, who are being denied their rights, which would not have happened had American laws been the deciding factor. Because we're not making this an anti-Muslim thing, ALAC is written to ban the use of any foreign or international law in American courts, except those cases in which all parties have agreed to use of a foreign law or if it's covered under a treaty to which the U.S. has agreed. We believe that ALAC does not violate any existing interpretation of how laws are currently viewed and interpreted by our legal system. It is only being passed to ensure that American laws are used in American courts. We can get you much more information on this from legal experts involved with writing the model legislation that has been adopted in one form or another by nearly 20 states. ALAC only applies when the use of a foreign legal doctrine in a court would violate someone's constitutional right or state public policy. And nothing in the bill prevents any person from freely exercising his or her right to freedom of religion and worship. It only applies to legal doctrines in our courts and does not discriminate in any way based on faith of any kind. We need to take this step and pass this legislation as a defensive measure. One only needs to look at what is happening in Europe currently to see how not having legislation in this nature can and does allow for chaos to reign. Please support Representative Eric Redmond's proposal for Idaho laws for Idaho courts when it comes before the Idaho House State Affairs Committee this legislative session. Thank you very Thank much. You.